how sweet it is to be loved by you. This is the video, not the teaching video, but the why video, the like, why is this song so great video, the why are the chords so cool, and, and what do I like about it, and what you should like about it, I think. Um, in the description, you will find the teaching video, and at the end of this video, you'll also find, you know, it'll pop up in the end screen. The video will come up, and you can click on it there if you want to just wait for that. Thank you very much to my patrons over at Patreon, and you can get the lead sheet to the song over there. Let's talk about this song and why I like it so much. It starts out with a C major 7 chord. Right? What key are we in? It sounds like we're in the key of, of uh, G. Right, and we are. But we have that F in there, and F does not belong in the key of G. But when we do that, that G turns into like a G7, and it goes to a C. So it's like a secondary dominant. The G, which is the one chord, turns into a 5 of 4, goes to a C major 7. That's what's really cool about that. Needed the shelter of someone's arms. That's a one chord going to a six chord. D, and there you were. Now this is really interesting because F is not in the key of G. But it's in the key of C. So I'm not sure exactly how that works. It's like, it's like we're in the key of C for just a second. It's like one, four, one, like that. Then we're back to G, E minor, D, the five chord, four chord, F, C. And it's kind of like mixing the G scale and the C scale together, like kind of going back and forth. It's really cool. C. Sweet love and devotion. Four chord. E minor, which is the sixth chord. Deeply touching my emotion. I want to stop. That's one chord going to the C with the G bass. Four chord with that G bass. Thank you, baby. C. I just want to stop. And thank you, baby. And that's back to that which is actually a G with an F-sharp bass, which is like an inverted G7 chord. And we still have that feel of that G7. How sweet it is, and I think that's why it's so great, is because it just has these elements, and it kind of feels like it moves back and forth between a couple of different keys, instead of just being static and in one key all the time. It's very interesting. Now, if we were in the key of G, Sometimes we'll use an F chord, a lowered 7 chord. Right? It's not really in the key, but it's lowered 7, which is actually kind of an interesting, you know, switch on what's going on. It's not what it does exactly here in this song, but I like it. Okay, is there anything else, really? Well, friends, that's all I have for this analyzation video. I mean, it was really short, right? And basically, it's just in the key of G, but then it kind of has some elements that are interesting about it. Secondary dominant, uh, and also kind of does like a CFC, almost like it was in the key of C. So that's really pretty fun for this song. And it's got some great harmonies and, and things like that when you have backup singers. Anyway, well, thanks for coming. We'll talk to you later. Happy playing. and. Come and see me at Patreon. We'll talk to you later. Bye.